ladies and gentlemen, this is Christelle Marquinette here with the uh, monthly readings for December. And as promised, I said once I pass that 6,000 mark, I will raise my wine glass with you and I will drink and toast to us all. Thank you so much for your support. Now let's start those December readings. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, Scorpio. <laughs> that was a mistake. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, Cancer friends. I'm um, here with another reading for the month of December, Cancer friends. Um, cancer, I went back and I re was reminded of what we read about in the month of November. I wanted to create a um, a bridge with this reading and um, what I remember is that after great um, difficulty you uh, came into your own towards the end of the month and you started planting seeds um, it was a wake-up call for you you had during the month and and it was an important change began towards month's end uh, an important change came about the beginning of an important change for you towards month's end last month in November, Cancer. Um, cancer friends, I'm going to spread the cards around like this. Mix the cards this way. And lay a diamond spread. Well, now, if last month was a um, wake-up call, this, is, this month of December is not going to be less, anything less. All right, what I'm seeing are a lot of the energies that have been brought forth. There's a continuation here, um, an important change. Okay, perhaps an important change, but what we have here, let me go through the cards with you. This is the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Moon card, the Eight of Wands as our focus card in the middle of the spread, Judgment card, there you go. Judgment card. The Page of Cups. And the Lover's card. Page of Pentacles. All right, we have two pages. Two pages, a wake up call here. Nightmares, nightmare to change. Are you know? Uh, I'm seeing many of the. Um, you know, there's there. There seems to be a theme, um, running through several readings, and it's very specific for each sign. And um, what I see here is I I I see a bit of fear. I see a bit of fear cancer and um, it seems that there may be fear because of, um, I don't know, I, I get the impression that um, uh, you're fearful because something just doesn't seem to be working your way. It could have to do with um, health issues, it could have to do with um, with it doesn't have to do with your livelihood that's not um, that's not at stake here 
um, I'm seeing that it has to do with your love life, definitely. Um, you're very, very sad about that. You're very, very sad about um, about perhaps losing something. You know, the month of December may be bring in information that um, that puts you in a position of, you know, perhaps lo missing a losing a loved one in, in the sense that they will be away from you. Um, not losing them in any other way, but um, uh, you you have this um, you know these the the, the moon child uh, cancer friends. Uh, I have the moon here, and it's mirroring the judgment card, and it will be a big pull for you. The month of uh, December is going to be quite difficult for you. Um, you, 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 it's as if you are being called to make a uh, decision, but the Seven of Cups above the decision is telling us that the decision is out of your hands at the same time. Very interesting. Then we have here, you know, the Nine of Swords over the Page of Cups. It's almost as if, you know, you, you, you know that there's a future for you and you know that there is love for you and you know you see it You're, you you can grasp it and you know where it is you actually have seen it tasted it smelt it but you have fear you're fearful that you will never be able to touch it no you know? um there's something here that um, speaks of more than fear because at the same time that you're fearful you have um, okay I want to say again you have support you have a, a lot of support but th you're so caught up in in this feeling of fear let me see what um, the Vira Sibila have to say to us. I'm going to take these cards on the Nine of War of Swords. Okay. All right, now it does speak to, um, actually it does speak to your fear of losing a love and um, there's another man here and there is something hidden and there's jealousy there and your greatest fears are are just that that another person is coming to take your love away what the Neapolitan cards have to say okay now it's interesting that those seemingly negative cards have brought forth seemingly positive excellent Neapolitan cards the Holy Grail you couldn't get better than that it's almost as if they're saying let it go let it go because what's in store for you right under that is the page of cups you have to let it go because if you don't close that door that page of cups will never come in and it is coming in the six of uh, the, the six of wands tells us it is in that moment it's a very timely uh, this is speaks of time speaks of the now it's as if either you have met someone and you didn't give it the time of day didn't give that person the time of day but it would it was a person that you could possibly have a relationship with and it was recent or you are about to so this is a very recent um, phenomenon and the action card the ace of wands really does tell you it's in arm's reach it's right there let's take a look at this seven of cups here to see what that is all about 
All right. Um, well, the feeling is that you are trapped, the prisoner here. And we have Belvedere, but what these cards are telling us is that you have a wonderful outlook and you can be poised to have both love and sex in a different relationship in a different relationship um, the seven of cups tells us that you are stuck you are literally stuck because you can't see that far they're suggesting you look I'm going to take three Neapolitan cards on, over those. Okay. Um, now, again, this is such a funny card. This um, uh, the the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands that. Uh, the horse is turning back and the knight goes one way and the horse wants to go another way and it's you know typically it's saying try to go in the right directions go in the same direction don't feel stuck and then see that it's at arm's reach you know the the the, the two of um, wands is telling us that you really do uh, are you do have another person there and the six of of, of swords is telling us that you'll be going there you will be going to better to a better place you know it's trying to say look just look open your eyes open your eyes and it's that part of you that's looking behind and not forward and and you it's very difficult for you to go forward let's take this um um three sibila on this moon card Okay, yes, you're stuck with thinking that, right? You're stuck with thinking uh, th that it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy if that person goes away. It would be such a tragedy. Um, and, and your whole intimate life, your intimacy in your life, you feel is going to suffer greatly. And it will, it does. I mean, we are not made of steel. We are not made of steel. Let's take the three Neapolitan cards. And what are they saying? They're saying, rest assured that after destabilization in a an emotional relationship, the, you'll be rewarded with a future spiritual, uh, something spiritual is coming into your highly spiritual is coming into your life. Let me take the Nepa, the Sibila on the on this judgment card. The judgment card talks about looking favorably to change. Looking favorably to change, they're antagonistic. These cards, you know, um, you you they're suggesting you look favorable to change, but you're not having it. Right, you are stuck. It's as if half of the spread is talking about such a terrible change. You're about to lose the the person of your life, you know, and at the same time, they're saying, "Come on." You gotta close that door. It's right in arm's reach. Can't you see? You know, it's been it's that person is probably no longer there anyway. You've been holding on to false hopes, you know? And then but you're you're still, you know the Neapolitans, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The foundation has to be built, has to be rebuilt has to be rebuilt because you are then going to wallow in your regrets again you're going to be wrong this is because it's going to hit hard hit below the belt okay i'm not going to mince words cancer december is going to be a tough month for you but we need to adopt a different perspective right the six of um 
of Pentacles here talks about again this is a time card and it feeds off of the other it's a weaker card and it feeds off of the others and it just sort of redefines this uh, regrets you know it, it strengthens the card near to it and it's talking of regrets and on undoubtedly you will have regrets now um, these are not regrets that have been have sprouted out the month of November here I mean these are deep-seated fears deep-rooted uh, regrets so so and 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 you know those of you um, with whom this will resonate you'll know what I'm talking about and um, so prepare yourself that um, we want to know how to deal with that. I mean, uh, what are we going to do? Are we going to go. Are we ready to close the book? Are we ready to move on? You know, we need to go. We need to close something before you can open it. I mean, it sounds like rhetoric. You know, it sounds like I'm being rhetorical, but um, there's a lot of truth in in rhetoric, and 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 you know, um, well, let's let's take the Berasibila on the Five of Wands. All right, now, um, we have some light here, the support. What do we have as, as support? We have a change. We have su a positive change. We have a positive change. Uh, the ladro speaks of change, and this, um, this uh, housemaid speaks of positive aid um, on the workplace. So it is suggesting that your livelihood is going to come to the rescue um, your livelihood is be is going to be the area of your life where you can um, uh, be aided how you can be aided the most let's remember that um, three and I'm getting a great yes with that this is the um, yes card um, yes card that it will come to the aid of that heartbreak that you heartache that you will have and even though you're destabilized you do have uh, aid in family and friends friends on the job and co-workers and that is the area that will most likely the month of December serve you well All right now let's take um, Sibila on this this um, page of pentacles and the page of pentacles there you go there you go it's, it's saying to us that love is coming in dear 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 cancers um, uh, cancer friend that uh, the you'll be t thinking about it you're trying to work out logically and then in the end you say this is the exit card the exit card you in the end you say you take and you understand that it's for the best you understand for it's for the best that person is is leaving but it's for her best or his best and and your love for that person will make you see that and you will be happy okay and and others will tell you the same thing Do twos. This this is no matter how far that person goes away with you, there's a bond there, and that will be remain that will remain a bond, and you know that, okay, and you know that. And the uh, King of Pentacles is telling us that um, that the passion will always be there because you've had a past with that person, and you both will never forget it. Um, let me take uh, the Vera Sibila on the lover's card to see what that is all about. Okay, this was a choice that was made and um, it's a new beginning. Uh, the person made a choice and that is, has brought them away and that is at the basis of this month. Um, let me take the Neapolitan cards on that. And for you, yes, it was a very, very important relationship. It was a very, very important relationship, well, the most important relationship of your life, hands down. Um, and if I can say, these two um, sword cards, the 
the Knight of Swords and this Page of Swords, um, they're there to remind you that, um, as I said, you know, we don't we don't saddle blame on anyone, but they're there to remind you of things that have gone down and as an aid for you to see and guard against them happening in the future. You know, uh, try to learn from this relationship because it has served you well and because there's a strong bond no matter what, no matter where that person goes, there is a, still a strong bond. You never really lose them. It's just your fear that is playing out to you and saying, you know, I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to be lost. And that's not the case because you're standing now on your own two feet, right? Interesting, interesting messages. I'm going to take another, um, another tarot card. Okay. I have two. No, three. I have three. Okay. I've got three. I have the Emperor. I've got the Eight of Cups and the Four of Swords. We do get some respite, dear Cancer uh, friends, at the end of the month because you come back into your own regardless of all of that um, upheaval that you felt the month of December and you're able to stay at the end of the month and relax and really do um, celebrate uh, the coming of a new year and, and entering into a new year. You've, you've strengthened, you've, you've gulped down the difficulty and you're at a better place at, year, at, months, at the year end and month's end. Um, so I'm happy about that. Ladies and gentlemen, Cancer friends, do stay well and know that you're loved. You have so many people around you that love you and, and you, we never lose anything really, do we? Namaste, my friends. Thank you for all of your support, and it was an honor for me to read with you.